How's it going everyone? Daily Artist here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to go about rendering and exporting out your objects in wireframe mode inside of Blender. Now I'm going to go over two different methods, one being a triangulated mesh and one being in quads. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around and let's get into it. We have a model here, he's textured. Uh, we're going to go to the shading uh, tab here at the top. You see we have our albedo diffuse inside of our base color. Now we want to bring in a couple more nodes. So we're going to just click off in the empty space, press Shift A, go to search, and we're going to type in wireframe. Select that wireframe node, and we can just place it here. And let's bring in another one. We're going to bring in a mix shader, which is a RGB. So press Shift A, go to search, type in mix, and then we're going to grab that uh, mix RGB node. Now, first thing we want to do is connect the wireframe into the factor of the mix node here. And for this albedo base color here, we're going to disconnect it from the principal BSDF and we're going to um, make the color go to the color of the mix shader. And now we can connect our color to our base color. Now, this is my emission, so you may not use an emission map on your model, but this is just how I have mine set up. Um, here in the wireframe, you can change the size and of the thickness of the wireframe by um, dragging this up and down. And if you want to do incremental movements, you can hold down Shift while um, dragging this so you don't have a dramatic uh, change. And now you see if we press F12, we get a nice render and you see the wireframe actually shows up. Now, if you want to change your color of the wireframe, you can go here in the mix node and just pick a color that's suitable for you. And this looks fine. So let's give this, let's uh, make this a little lower. Let's say 0 0.005. This looks good. Press F12, we'll do a quick render from the camera. And this looks fine for the first result. Now, let me show you guys another way. If you just want to get the hologram look of the wireframe, what we could do is just drag select over all of these nodes. We can delete this, and what we can do is um, go to the Materials tab, and let's add a new uh, node here. And let's get rid of this principal BSDF. And what I want to do is add another wireframe. So press Shift A, go to Search. We're going to type in wireframe once again. We're going to bring in another node, Shift A. Type in transparent, and we want the transparent BSDF. And let's bring in an emission. Now, this is uh, totally up to you guys, but I like to bring in an emission node. So I'll press Shift A, search, type in emission. And I'm going to just put this underneath here. And now let's bring in another mix shader. So Shift A, search, mix. Now, the first time we chose a mix RGB shader, but this time I'm going to choose the mix shader. And what I want to do is plug in the wireframe to the factor of the mix shader. Grab the transparent BSDF, plug it into shader one slot, an emission uh, slot two. And what I want to do is uh, basically connect this shader to the surface output. Now you see we have this look here. And this looks good. Uh, if you want, you can change the emission um, color to, like, let's say blue. And let's change our renderer from EV to Cycles. And you can see now it's transparent. And let's also change the size of this. So let's say 0 0.005. Once again, we get that nice wireframe. And let's uh, press F12. And you see we get our mesh and it's triangulated and we don't want the triangle. We want to just keep it nice and low poly. So what we'll do is exit out that renderer and let's go to the modifiers tab and let's bring in a wireframe. So what we'll do is just lower this. 0.10 to be fine. Something like this. Now you can see that it's totally um, a wireframe and it's not triangulated. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.